Okay everybody, hello, this is a tutorial on how to get started in Electrify. So as you see I've just reinstalled it now so it still has the little new tag on. So I'll open Electrify. Now this app is now audio bus um, compatible except there are some issues. But the developer is sorting those issues out and I thought it would be a good idea to do a quick getting started because it's not the easiest program to understand. So, but once you once you understand the workflow of this program, it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, you can do so much stuff with it. It's 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 incredible. So, I'm going to give you a basic getting started guide. So, when you first boot this up for the very very first time, this is what you've got. And if you hit play, that's what you have. Now, to access the uh, load and save and the, the the other things, you just hit the electrify button there. You've got load, new, save as, clear, export, import, switch clip after end. You can change the themes. Um, you can sync it with Bluetooth, and then you press done, and it's there. So if we hit load, you will see that the only thing there's nothing there at all, nothing. Okay, and the project they've called is my first sample project. So they don't give you any presets and stuff to go along with or anything like that. Okay, so <clears throat> let's just go back to what we've got. So here we have this this block here of eight by eight is their matrix then you have an effects section and then you have a master section and then down here you have um a, the sequencer the sample and the settings okay so we've got all we've got now is bass drum but you can see running along the bottom here is that you're sort of standard add your bits and pieces so so that's simple. So let's say we want to add something into this block. We hit the block we want to add to. And there we are. Now, let me just stop this. At the moment, it's playing for one bar, but there's nothing there. And the, the thing is with this, you double click, you can name the clip. But the thing is, it doesn't, it's not, it doesn't tell you how to get a sample in there. Okay, it's not like you double click and there's your list of samples and you and you what you have to do is go to sample, which is here, you hit sample, and it still doesn't really tell you how to get preview, what stretch, what but down here it says double tap to browse samples. At the bottom of the page there. So you double tap there and then you're given um the sample browser. Now you can uh, audio paste your samples in so if you've got bass drums and stuff or snares or hits or synths and stuff you can put them in but first of all we're just gonna have a look at these um things here so we have a uh, bass infarct uh, drum codes electric elements we open electric elements we have a list of different samples which we can samples uh, which we can uh, listen to so let's just listen to a few of these Okay, so let's let's put that clappy snare type thing in. So once we've selected one we like, so flip OK. Now it's there. So we play now, but we've still only got our bass. We go back to sequencer, and we can put our snare in. So now obviously you can, you can do this again. So let's select this sample, go to sample, double tap, and we'll go back and we'll see if we can find some hi-hats or something. Oh, hi, okay, hi-hats, close. Okay, let's go back to sequencer. Now, that's too loud, so we can go down here to settings, hit settings, and this presents us with a different page. It looks a little bit like Ableton, doesn't it? Okay, so on this settings page here, we can control the volume of the sample that we've selected. So, see? So we're gonna select the hi-hat, and we're just gonna lower the pitch there. Yeah, the, the volume, sorry. We can alter the pitch as well. I think as well also if you double tap it 
usually turns into its default value. Now here we have cutoff and resonance. Okay, so we can set that where we like it. And we have effect send. Now let's just stop that for a sec. If we wanted to put say let's go back to our kick or our clap. We want to put a little bit of delay on the clap. Okay, so all we have to do there is let's go back to sequencer and we know that our our, our clap is on the fifth and the thirteenth beat. Okay, so we go to here, which is effects. Now effects bus one and effects bus two. You'll see that right now it says none and none. We just need to click on there and we can select from either a delay, uh, a BPM sync delay, a flanger reverb, ping pong delay, bandpass filter, a phaser, low pass filter or distortion. So let's go with a beat synced delay. Okay, and let's see what that sounds like. Now, we have to go back to settings and there's no effect you see. So we want to route our clap to bus one. So we can go back to our matrix now. <clears throat> okay, so we've got like three samples playing a, a sort of real basic. What you can also do is you can select how many bars you want your um, sample to play for. So we can select up to eight bars. But we'll keep it at one bar for now, okay? Now here you'll notice that Along here, this says volume, and these have all dropped to where I've lowered the volume on the actual settings page. So if I put the volume back up, go back to sequencer, you'll see they've all, they've all gone to the top. So let's put the volume back to where it was. So it's about there. Go back to sequencer. What you can also do with this now is hit that button there, and you can select it to pan. So that means if you add hi hats running at 16th, you could have every single one running left and right, left and right, left and right, left and right. You have a note, which is really cool for doing bass lines and stuff. Uh, a decay, a sample start, an effect send for every single beat. So if we just wanted to, let's say, for instance, have uh, an echo running on one hi-hat click, then we could do that. Okay, so go back to uh, the matrix and select another sample for that and we're going to select a base so that's okay so go back to the sequencer and just play not record play Once we find something that we like, we can record that sequence. So play, hit record. Don't hit that record. That records a WAV file that you can share with iTunes. You don't need that. This record down here is the one you want to hit. So what we can do now is what we can do now is is stop and um, 
look at our second set look at our second section look at our second section here okay so we've gone down to the next set of samples we can load so what we can do is if we if we want us to keep hold of that kick we can select that copy paste it there so now we can set these to load at the same time okay and then of course we can we can alter that and let's select a different sample for there off on the first one right so okay, so Need it. We've got an echo on that, so we don't want that. As you can see, you can build up and build up and fill all these, and then once you've got it, you can save it. And then you can, but the great thing is with audio bus, you could then do live performances, so you could just set all these to play.